Alright, hello everyone, welcome to Paymon Tech Media. In this video, we will talk about how we can fix VirtualBox. So when we double click on VirtualBox, it's giving us error. So for example, when I click on VirtualBox, it gives us this uh, critical error and a detail here. So it's not all loading. What we need to do basically, it seems that we previously had VirtualBox installed and uh, we have to look for these uh, directories and then delete them and then reinstall brand new VirtualBox. So basically we have to go into this directory, your C drive, uh, users folder, if this is uh, Windows uh, 8, Windows 10, users directory, and then your username, your user account name here, then you should be able to see this uh, VirtualBox or, um, or if we see, let's say, uh, .virtualbox.save or .virtualbox, we need to delete them. Let's go delete this folder. Now we should be able to open VirtualBox. Let's take a look. And as we can see, it's loading without any problem. And then from here, we can add existing virtual machines if we had previously or create a new one. Also, we need to keep in mind if we have a combination of Hyper-E uh, virtual machines installed and VirtualBox installed, of course, it causes conflict. So we probably want to turn off the Hyper-E uh, by going to the command prompt, elevated command prompt, and then typing the PCD edit set hypervisor launch type to off. And then restart your computer. Then your Hyper-V, it's pretty much uh, not uh, functional anymore. Your virtual machine, your, your virtual box, it's uh, working. And switching back from VirtualBox to the Hyper-V, we can just simply type this command in elevated command prompt. And how can we start elevated command prompt? Simply click start, type CMD, and then right click on command prompt, run as administrator. And then click continue, it will, it will open elevated command prompt. So again, if we want to use Hyper-V, we can use this command. If we don't want to use Hyper-V and we want to use VirtualBox or any other hypervisor application, we can type this command. So after deleting these two folders, we can see we should be able to open our VirtualBox manager. Thank you for watching. If you have any question, please leave it in the comment section. If you want to see more tech videos like this, please subscribe to our channel. And thanks again and have a good day.